We are on holiday in Wales, checking out some of the wonderful railways that this country has to offer. Today, the Brecon Mountain Railway. Hi guys, Richard and family here from Dadbrail. <laughs> We're heading for Pant Station on the Brecon Mountain Railway for a trip on this very, very scenic railway. Unfortunately, the weather in Wales today is uh, less than scenic. In actual fact, it's pretty abysmal, but hopefully we'll still get some really nice shots. So we're going to go for a ride on the train from Pant up to where it terminates. You'd think with a name like Evans, I'd be really good with Welsh pronunciations, but I haven't got a clue and I don't want to insult the Welsh people or the Welsh language, so I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. So we're going from Pant to wherever that says on the screen. Uh, when we get on the train, I'm going to ask someone how to pronounce it. Do you want to give it a go? <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to attempt it. Opening in 1980, this 1 foot 11 and 3 quarter inch narrow gauge railway runs for roughly 4.5 miles from Pant Station just north of Merthyr Tydfil to Torpenthal in the picturesque Brecon Beacons National Park. It is recommended to start your journey at Pant Station where there is ample car parking facilities and a very good cafe. A small viewing area overlooks the engine shed workshops and a free push button model railway provides amusement whilst waiting for the train. They have a really good selection of um, locomotives here, some really nice steam locomotives. I wanted to see the Baldwin in particular, but they've had a few issues uh, over the last couple of weeks, so the steam locomotive is not running today. So our attraction today comes courtesy of uh, diesel engine TU7, which is a Soviet-built locomotive. And believe it or not, the full scale, or should I say the full standard gauge version of these are actually still in use in Vietnam. Leaving Pant Station, the line curves to the right and climbs before joining the original track bed of the closed standard gauge Brecon and Merthyr Railway. The vintage carriages with their large windows and balconies are ideal for appreciating the beautiful views on this line. We've just passed through the um, centre station. You don't stop at the centre station on the way up to the terminal, which is called... Topper Town. <laughs> Topper Town. We, we're definitely going to work on the pronunciations. But on the way back, uh, we do stop there, so we should get some nice footage across the reservoir. Climbing up from Ponstis Hill, we pass through, and apologies in advance for the pronunciation, Dolligear Station, one of the original stations on the Merthyr and Brecon Railway. The station now rebuilt is owned and used by the South Wales Scouts Council. At only 400 horsepower, our locomotive begins to slow as it approaches the summit of the railway at Torpenthal, some 400 metres above sea level. So we've just reached the terminus of the station and uh, we think we know how to pronounce this Torpenthal. Is that correct sir? Torpenthal? Well, Torpenthal. Torpenthal. That'll do. It's good enough. <laughs> Torpenthal. <laughs> Thank you very much sir. <laughs> Thank you. The train waits for approximately 15 minutes at Topante, enough time to allow the locomotive to run round. Our TU7 locomotive was brought into the UK from Latvia. On arrival in the UK, a dedicated team had to regauge the locomotive to run on the Brecon Mountain Railway. Built in the early 1970s, 
These locomotives boast a top speed of 50 km an hour and feature a V12 diesel engine. These locomotives have proven incredibly versatile and I'm told by the train crew that this is probably the only example of a TU7 in the Western Hemisphere, so well worth a ride. With the run round complete, it's all aboard for the journey back to Pant, this time stopping at Ponstisil. So we've reached Pons de Sil, which is the halfway mark. You don't stop here on your way up to the end of the line, but you do stop for about 25 minutes on the way back. There's a really nice cafe here, there's a children's play area, and there's a steam museum. But what you really want to do here is get off the train and just check out the views. very nice the sun's decided to put in an appearance as well in normal times here at the halfway point you can actually get off and go back on a later train so you can go in for a walk around the reservoir and explore the local area but because of the covid situation you're all booked into kind of uh, bubbles in the individual coaches at the moment so you've got to go back on the same train you came on which is a bit of a shame because i'd like to spend some time up here just wandering around because it really is beautiful so the railway's been closed for the last 18 months due to the covid situation and there's really good covid precautions here you're booking in bubbles at the moment and on every single coach if I just flip you around here, we've got hand sanitizers. During our layover, the locomotive was detached and shunted around 100 metres along the line. I never did find out why, but a reasonable assumption would be to take on diesel. Stopovers at both Torpentil and here at Pontus Hill were perfectly timed and just long enough to use the facilities and stretch your legs. I never felt rushed and similarly never felt like I was left waiting. As we depart Pontus Hill, you can clearly see the abandoned platform and signal box of the former Brecon and Merthyr Railway. What do you think of the Brecon Mountain Railway, Tommy? It's very beautiful, but it's very bumpy. Yeah. Very beautiful, but very bumpy. Yeah. We're on our way back to Pan Station, and we've literally just found out that we're allowed to ride on the, uh, the outside balconies here. This is fun.
Rounding the bend into Pant Station and our journey's coming to a close. The Brecon Mountain Railway is a beautiful railway and makes for a fantastic family day out. It is well run and all the staff and volunteers on duty today have been really helpful. I for one can't wait to come back when the sun is shining to take a ride on the steam locomotive. If you want to find out more about the Brecon Mountain Railway you can visit www.bmr.wales. I'll also leave a link in the description below. Brecon Mountain Railway. Did you enjoy that, Tommy? Yeah! Joshua? Yeah! And if people want to find out more about Dadborough, what should they do? Subscribe! Like and subscribe for more content like this, guys. And of course, the train driver vlogs and the rest of it. Any comments, pop them below. And don't forget to check out my social media channels or why not join in the conversation over at Discord. Remember, create, share, and subscribe. Inspire. Thanks for watching.